Hello dear viewers, this is Dr. Aisha Nazuk here. Today I am going to uh, guide you very quickly how you can uh, separate different variables in columns uh, using Microsoft Excel. Uh, so once I uh, download a data from uh, an econometric book uh, and then we are going to copy in Excel and then we'll see how we can separate the variables in columns. So let's say if I want to download some data set from this econometric book. Uh, this is econometrics book of Gujarati and Portal. And uh, on this website, the URL that you are see, looking at your screen on this uh, website or in this URL, you will see uh, that you will have a list of tables of complete um, Gujarati and Porter data set. So if I go on this website, uh, this is the layout of this website and you can see that we have a list of tables along with the page number. So suppose I want to download this table, table 7.9. So I can click here on this clickable blue link. And once I click here, you can see that uh, I have a data file, uh, in fact a data layout. Uh, but this data layout is not already separated into different columns. For example, if I copy this data and I copy here in Excel, so let me copy in a new sheet and I copy here in Excel, right? Uh, now you can see that the problem is that all the values or all the variables, they are copied in single column, whereas uh, we need each variable in separate column. So for example, if I put uh, my cursor here on the top of this column A and I click on data and then I have an option here uh, text to column this is the option right what I have done is I have did, uh, clicked here on the data tab uh, and then I'm clicking here on text to column so once I click this pop-up window will open and you'll see that the complete uh, data that I have selected uh, is shown here uh, now there are uh, two different options uh, for most of the cases the first option which is the delimited option uh, this is the appropriate one because uh, in the delimited version we can separate the columns based on uh, tabs we can or space or comma for example if I go on this uh, delimited option and I click on next there are different options here how I want to separate the columns uh, if you can see here that the data is separated uh, by using space. So I'm going to click space and I'm going to uncheck tab, right? So what I have done is I've checked space and I've unchecked tab. So depending on how the data is being separated, for example, if there were commas between different values, I would have chosen the option of comma. So for now, the option of space works and you can see that uh, the layout of the resultant data is shown here so this is a preview and once I click on next and finish you can see that all the variables are now in different columns now I can easily name these variables I mean I can insert one row here and for example if this is my y variable and the next one whatever so that's up to me whatever name I wish for each column I can simply name them so in this uh, short video, I just wanted to help my viewers uh, who download data sets uh, from different websites. Most of the time, uh, it, in the data set is not separated into columns, so we can easily follow the instruction shared in this video. Uh, so for th thank you for watching the video, and uh, by uh, I mean um, uh, you can also support my channel by liking and subscribing and share with your friends and on social media handles so thank you once again